Hey y'all and welcome to the video. For this one, it's gonna be long beds versus short beds. Um, I have one of each. This is the eight foot bed truck and I've also got a six and a half foot bed truck. And what are the differences between the two? What do I notice between the two? Pros and cons, things like that. And this is really as far as the three quarter tons go. There's eight, six and a half or an eight foot. On the half tons these days, I know there's a five and a half and a six and a half. So I don't know about the five and a halves, but I do, I do have uh, an eight and a six and a half to compare. So let's start with the obvious, more space. You can see eight foot bed, significant difference. And when you have both trucks side by side, that extra foot and a half space is considerable. It's actually more than that. Um, the short bed truck I have is a six foot four inch. This is actually eight feet and two inches. You can see there's some eight foot sticks of two by 12s here that fit in the bed and you could close the tailgate. That's really nice. You've also got plenty of space for a toolbox. This toolbox is two feet deep, but even with it there, there's still as much bed space behind it as is on my other truck with an empty bed. That's awesome. Um, how about auxiliary fuel tanks? If you wanna have an auxiliary fuel tank, your options are limited on the short bed because of the wheel arches there, the humps. You can only fit so deep of a toolbox or um, fuel tank in here. On the long bed, we're looking, we got about three feet of space here. So you could fit a 95 gallon fuel tank. On a short bed, you might have to settle for a 35 gallon, unless you get one of those big ones that fit in between the wheel humps, at which point you really sacrifice your bed space. So for auxiliary fuel tanks and toolboxes, I really like the long bed and for hauling long pieces of wood. You could also fit a queen size mattress in here and close the tailgate. I appreciate that. Very practical for hauling lots of materials. And uh, that's a definite advantage for the long bed. How about ride quality? Ride quality wise, between my two trucks, I don't really notice much of a difference. I actually like the way my short bed rides. But there are a lot of people that will say the long bed's better, and it kind of makes sense. Longer wheelbase means less, less angle. When you're going over uneven surfaces, less angle between the front and the back. So it should smooth out the ride a little bit. And so it makes sense to me that the long beds would ride better. But in my personal situation, I don't think there's much of a difference there. Now, stability-wise, when towing, the long bed may be better. But, um, you know, maybe a little bit. I think when you get bigger, taller trailers, it may have a better effect. I've got the gooseneck trailer over here. I've towed it with both of my trucks, but I do prefer to tow with this truck, but for reasons besides the long bed. I, I like the engine and the transmission that this one has versus my other truck. Um, so that brings me to gooseneck and fifth wheel towing. Long bed, is preferred. So let's look at this. Gooseneck ball sits right there. Um, it, it sits over the axle, okay? The axle is further away from the cab on a long bed truck than a short bed by probably about a foot and a half. So when making hairpin turns in a short bed and you have the overhang of a trailer like this, you're concerned that you may turn so sharply that the corner of the trailer hits the corner of the cab causing major body damage. That's part of why I have a rack on here, even though this is a long bed truck, even if you, were, if you were to have a jackknife situation, you might even still have that happen on a long bed. But on a short bed, it happens much sooner, it's much more common when doing normal backing up, usually when backing up into a uh, tight spot. So I'm always very conscious about that when I have the short bed. When with the long bed, I really don't worry about it much at all. So that goes for goosenecks and fifth wheels. Bumper pulls, I think, besides the whole stability thing, which I think is not huge, maybe a little bit, but I don't think it's drastic. I think either way you go, short bed or long bed, fine with the bumper pull. Uh, as far as looks go, that's subjective. When I first got into uh, these trucks, I liked short beds. I thought they were the coolest looking. Now I, I have a appreciation for the beauty of a long bed. You know, these really long trucks, I like, I like how they look. 
Uh, they just look like long haulers, like you would tow a lot or do something like that with these. And that's that's the setup I like. Um, my next truck would probably be a long bed, but I do like my short bed for some reason. So far in this video, it's all going in favor of the long bed. But let's talk about some short bed stuff that's good. Driving around in the city, driving around in parking lots, going through drive-throughs, it's all easier in a short bed. In a parking lot, this truck's so long, the rear end might be sticking out a foot or two out of your parking spot. Uh, you might not park as close to the store as you would with your short bed. Uh, drive-throughs that have tight, you know, U-turn involved with the drive-through, which I know a few in my area. I much prefer to have my short bed truck when I go through those drive-throughs. This one fits, but it's kind of tight. Um, how about off-road? The short bed's better off-road. Um, I don't do any crazy off-roading. But if I was like rock crawling in this truck, there's so much space in between the wheels that it would be easy to say, hit that skid plate under there on a rock or something like that. Uh, the short bed is definitely better off road. And then the other thing would be for short beds, you might want to actually put your truck in a garage and it might not fit a truck this long. Even the short bed, uh, three quarter tons, the six and a half footers, they might be a tight squeeze in most garages. So a long bed might not be an option if you want to park your truck in the garage. So those are the differences between the trucks. I like the long beds now, but uh, I have an appreciation for the short beds too. And so hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. I will have another video coming up soon. Maybe uh, within the next couple of days, I'm going to be doing a little bit of wrenching. So I'll see you all in that video.